When Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck back in November, <laughs> good old days, right? So many things have changed. Uh, a lot of us went through a, a string of emotions. Uh, we went from shock to confusion to shock again, then anger, then acceptance, and a lot of people felt joy and started throwing money, $100 bills, y'all, to to reserve their, uh, their Cybertruck. I was one of them. I reserved myself one. I'm, I'm not a big fan. I st I'm st still growing on me, literally still growing on me. Uh, but I, I, you know, quarter million reservations that Tesla has. They they said that they're not they're not gonna be able to take. If basically they said they have enough for like four years worth of production. So they're good. I'm good. I took therapy for all of the you know um, for the emotional roller coaster that Tesla uh, uh, took me through. I'm okay now. Hope you're as well. But. The way that Cybertruck looks right now, the way that we saw it at the unveiling is not going to be exactly how you're going to get it when you buy it from Tesla. Some of this is just going to come from just regulations because that truck is not up to regulation standards, especially here in the United States. We're going to talk about that. Uh, a couple of things that I think they're going to change just because already Elon Musk started replying to some of the uh, concerns from uh, from the buyers, from the fans. And there are two things that I'm going to mention that I've not heard anybody mention before, but I'm going to make two guesses. And this is the part where you can play along, of course, in the comment section um, that I think Tesla is going to change about their Cybertruck. And by the way, uh, while you're walking down to that comment section, you'll find a subscribe button there. Uh, go ahead and click on that. And if you already have, then the click on the bell notification icon right next to it, their neighbors, so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's start with something very simple. As you can tell from this video and this picture, there are no side mirrors. There's no side mirrors. I know it looks really cool and slick, and I know that they, they, they I'm actually surprised they didn't really put the, um, the uh, camera mirrors, mirror cameras, whatever. Uh, but the bottom line, in the United States, you have to have mirrors. As a matter of fact, when Elon was driving this truck uh, out and about, they still didn't have mirrors. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't put it at least for, you know, going out there on the railroads when they did the same thing with the semi truck. They put those big mirrors on us, remember? Anyway, so that's one of the things going to change. Another thing is obviously the front lights. Uh, it's not going to be like a bar like this anymore. It's going to be you know two lights and then you can have whatever pretty bars you want in between this is a picture this is a still taken from uh, a cyber truck actually driving on the road as you can see these are actually two headlights and then there's a thin bar in between so that's what it's probably going to look like um, again it's 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 the notification they're gonna have to make by law and the same thing with the backlights as you can see it is uh, it's actually they have to be kind of uh, you know uh, 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 d pretty well defined there, and that's that's what happened there uh, as well. This is this is the, from the same video. All right, now let's uh, let's uh, let's talk about the size, which apparently matters uh, when it comes to uh, cyber trucks and garages, because uh, some people said, hey. This truck doesn't seem like it's going to fit into my garage. And yes, it is a big truck, uh, though it's no bigger than like F-150 in many ways. Uh, but what people realize that it might actually fit height wise. So that prompted Eli actually replied to them and said that they actually going to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, and, and at the same time, they're going to make sure that the suspension can go all the way down when you're rolling into the garage. So, you know, it doesn't, you know, destroy it essentially, but it is a concern. And some people like I have a relatively, I think, standard size of a garage. And when I had uh, my model S and my Volt at the same time, I did not have a lot of space to move my booty, you know, all the way around the cars. And I don't have a big booty. I don't think I do. Uh, so that's, that might be a problem for even me here with my standard size garage here in Sacramento. Um, another thing, of course, is going to change is the, obviously, the tires and the wheels. I'm sure because I, from what I understand, they put this uh, prototype in like a matter of a couple of weeks. They just threw this, uh, which I'm sure is going to be an option, uh, the... Uh, they, I mean, I'm sure this this little um, caps add uh, range because they're obviously for uh, for making sure that the uh, drag efficiency is uh, pretty good here. Um, and uh, okay, now let's talk about stuff about this inside of the uh, Cybertruck. Uh, and, and one of the biggest ones is pro. Can you guess it? 
I'll get to it in a second. Of course, it's time to remind you that this channel and this uh, video is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV coming to the US and Europe and look how simple it is to actually make your reservation. Like literally watch, it's it's literally 30 seconds of your time, uh, mainly because there is no payment section. That's right, you can just reserve your Byton now without uh, well, stop and watching this video. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right, so uh, let's move on to uh, to this steering wheel. Hopefully you guessed it right. So uh, this is the uh, still shot from the video um, that actually Eli took. Um, as you can see, it's a tiny little wheel there. And I got to tell you, I had some experience with it uh, when I uh, was uh, able to actually drive this prototype from Mercedes, uh, this is actually a concept, not even a prototype of so 2023 EQS. And um, I was uh, able to drive it. As you can see, the wheel there is very similar. And I gotta tell you, it is kind of weird. As you can see, I'm as I'm turning it, I'm trying to grab the part that doesn't really exist. Um, it is cool and you do get used to it, but um, it is right now not something that uh, probably is going to uh, pass regulations. So it is something that's probably going to change, but it is a futuristic car. I understand why they put the futuristic wheel in there, but probably not going to happen. Now, let's talk about, about two things and feel free to participate that I think that are going to change. The first one I'm talking about is the bulletproof. Uh, now, I'm, 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 I know it is bulletproof because of the stainless steel and it's a, th a certain thickness, I believe three, uh, uh, a certain number of millimeters that where it will not allow the uh, 90 millimeter caliber bullet penetrated. That's true. Uh, however, I don't think that many people uh, really are concerned about this, all right? Um, I mean, I think if you think that someone's going after you, Tupac and the Biggie style, I don't think Cybertruck is the answer to your problems at this point. And also don't remember that it is basically the 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 panels, the, the body that's bulletproof, and even maybe the the front uh, front windshield, but the 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 uh, the side windows are not bulletproof at all. They're not even Hans proof at this point. So essentially, like, uh, what do you care if people can't shoot you in your foot if they can definitely shoot you in your eye? It's, it just doesn't make sense. I don't think that people really need it. And I think what's going to happen, um, Tesla will decide that like, you know what? Forget about having it bulletproof. Those people who want it, it will be a separate package. We can, you know, charge extra money for it. Great, we'll make some money. I, I, I feel like they like profits lately, so that would be something good for their profits. But we'll make the thickness thinner. Uh, it's not going to be bulletproof. It will still look great. It will still be pretty tough. But that way, we'll increase the range, right? Because a lot these doors are heavy. These doors are very happy, heavy and happy. I'm assuming uh, because uh, because they're bulletproof. So I think this is one of the things that they're going to roll back. Let me know if you agree or disagree, and let me know if you want the package if they were to offer it for an extra price. Um, all right, now another thing that I think that that's going to happen is, as you know, uh, the Cybertruck is going to have single, dual, or uh, a tri-motor configuration. And uh, that's great, and I think it's great. I, I think the fact that they just put one motor, give it like 7.6 seconds, zero to 60 to the cheaper version, if people like myself don't care about the acceleration that much, we can get it cheap. But, but what I really think that they're going to do is they're actually going to go with a uh, uh, four motor configuration. So each motor controls each wheel uh, for many reasons. One is because, you know, um, going off-road, this is a big deal. Two, they're going to be competing with a Rivian, uh, and Rivian is definitely uh, a lot of people's choice for the off-roading as far as their future electric truck is concerned, and also because the Rivian can do this, right? This is a called tank turn when the wheels on one side is turning one direction, the wheels on the other side turning the other direction. It's not really that hard from what I understand from the perspective of how to make it uh, work, but you have to have four motors controlling separately, independently, uh, those four wheels. And just for this reason, I think it's worth for Tesla to do the four uh, motors. I'm sure they're dying to do it because this is uh, what the high-performance electric cars, definitely all the hypercars are building from Remats and Pininfarina, having that. I think that's what Tesla wants to do. 
I think they're going to add that option and I think people are going to be absolutely happy and you'll be able to do the tank turn in your Cybertruck. And those videos are going to be probably more popular than the Model X Christmas dance and all kinds of, <laughs> or, 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 or the, the, the parking lot summon uh, that, we, that we've been, uh, that I absolutely love. So um, that's what I think. But the, the way the Cybertruck looks right now is not the way it's going to go in production. I'm not saying it's going to be better or worse. It's just going to be a little different by the way if you want to see more pictures from the unveiling of the cyber truck uh some of the behind the scenes especially when i travel to different locations and events uh definitely follow me on instagram under e for electric and of course if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button right here on youtube yet shame on you but you can redeem yourself by just doing it right now and then hitting the bell notification icon and that way you don't miss anything uh, and there's a lot of things going on right now in the world of electric cars. So, and that's what we do here every day. All right, looking forward to your comments and some suggestions. Maybe I missed something. Go ahead and put it in the comment section. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.